Welcome back, YouTube. Guess what? Today we got another honest review. <laughs> because you guys liked the last one I did on Belfast so much, I'm going to keep doing these from this point on, on all new ships coming to the game, including this one. Now you're probably thinking, hey, this guy's a battleship, sometimes cruiser player. He doesn't like destroyers. It's no, nothing I should hide. I do not like destroyers. If they wanted to take these things completely out of the game tomorrow, I would be okay with it. But there are a lot of you out there that love destroyers. I have to say, I played this on stream yesterday. I tried multiple different builds. I actually like it. That's right. I like this ship. I didn't think I was going to like this ship. I like this ship. You're probably going, whatever. No, I like this ship for the same reason I like Friesland. This thing is a baby little Friesland. That's all it is. It's a baby Friesland in tier six with torpedoes. I get it. There's no hydro. It, there's no smoke. It's not exactly like Friesland, but it plays extremely similar to Friesland. Now, with all these honest review videos, I'm going to do them from here on out because you guys seem to really like them. We are going to take a deep dive into this ship. We'll go through both builds, and then I will show you all the gameplay you're going to need to see about this boat right here. When I did all my testing, I did both torp boat and gunboat build for this little thing right here. So, the difference being torp versus gun, okay? The torp boat build, I had a 5-3 concealment instead of a 6. Torpedoes came back in 60 seconds instead of 70 seconds. Everything else was the same. The gunboat build is down to 2-2 reload versus the torp build was a 2-8 reload. I didn't change my consumables down here. Still had aiming systems, still had propulsion, and still had concealment. I'm not quite sure it's worth giving up concealment for steering. It's probably definitely not worth putting on RGA. That's that's just a meme right there. But I don't know that it's worth steering gears because that's not exactly how you play this thing. You don't really play it like Kaba in open water. Not saying you can't, not saying I wasn't. I'm just saying to play this thing as I think it's intended to be played at its best, it's not going to be in the open water getting shot at all the time. But Peek, but Peek, it's got a heal. Uh, yes, congratulations. It's got a heal, okay? But this heal right here doesn't put that much HP back on your boat. You got to realize on my gunboat build, I'm running Sims. Sims adds a significant more amount of HP to a destroyer. With Sims added on there, I only have 16.4 health. 16,400 in tier 6. I get it. That's a decent amount. But just keep that in mind. So these heals are giving me the maximum amount that I can get back. And these heals were only giving me about 11 to 1200 HP. When you compare the stats of this destroyer compared to Z35, it's also tier 6, 19,100 health. Benson at tier 6 was 16,700. Akatsuki, 13,1. La Terrible B, or La Terrible, at 18,6. And everyone's pride and joy, the Ognavoy, at 17,690. So relatively speaking, the Olin does have a low hit point pool compared to its counterparts, both Tech Tree and premiums. So those heals will give you a little bit of health, but they won't give you that much health. And I think that's very important in how you're going to play this boat. So for the Pan-Europeans, you have two commander possibilities. Oh, well, actually you have three, but this guy's only for the memes. Will to rebuild Friesland? It's pretty fun. What you end up having is Swarski and you have Stig. Stig is definitely the torpedo build. Swarski is absolutely the gunboat build. On Swarski, ended up running Observant Range, Mortar, perceptive and then this one helped with the cooldown of the engine time by quite a bit 15 percent at my level which i don't even have this guy leveled up very much level 11 rank one people who have this guy maxed out are going to end up having a lot better time with this commander but this is the gunboat commander and there's no way around it i would have had a 2.3 second reload and then i spec mord off on here which is four percent off the top and that pulls it down to 2.2 Obviously, you have to have Sims on there. I've got a 16-4 Sim, so he's on there for the extra HP, which still brings me to a relatively low hit pool compared to other destroyers at the tier. If you want to go the torpedo boat way, which I don't really recommend, you absolutely can. You've got to have Sims on there. I guess you don't have to, but you're probably not going to live all that long if you get caught. Sims for the extra HP. Eric Bay for the concealment. You could put Swarski on there in replace of Sims, but you're going to be losing a lot of health, and that could be dangerous to your overall length of time in the game. As the Torp build goes, subsurface, look at me now, perceptive, and sheltered arms, because really, destroy or be destroyed, 4% speed, 
you're really not going to notice that. It's not going to really make that big of a difference. But if you ever had to get into a gunfight, or if you did get shot at, not having your torps and guns knocked out, that might really help right there. And as always, Unstoppable, one of the best perks for destroyers, I think, personally, Unstoppable. Keep that engine spinning even when it gets knocked out by a secondary. And just to top it all off, his base trait's actually Torp Damage, which I didn't know until just now, but it makes sense why he's the Torpedo guy. With all that being said, here's how the gunboat rundown is going to look. Hit point, 16.5. Artillery, 120mm guns, four total guns, two mounts, 2.2 second reload. Keep that in mind, it's important. Torpedoes, nothing crazy, nothing immaculate, kind of lower damage. Torps, not lower percent chance of flood. I was getting perfectly fine hits to flood ratio when I played it. 70 second reload on that, 12 kilometer range. AA, I'm still undecided. I did take the ship into a tier five carrier game. I did take it into a tier seven carrier game. Still undecided. I don't think it's overwhelmingly good. That's why I think they gave you the button for defensive AA to make it a little bit better. It's not great. It's not terrible. It's kind of one of those things. It's like, eh. It's definitely not Friesland. Maneuverability is not bad. 36 knots, 610 turning circle, and a 3.7 rudder. It's not bad. It's. It, I'm sure you could get it faster, turn it tighter, quicker rudder. This is totally fine for how I play this boat. Concealment, not bad at tier six. Six kilometers for a gunboat build, six kilometers is not bad. All right, let's see some gameplay. Damn, I'm missing with torps. I had the right idea too. Let's try AV. Now he's gonna Stopping peak, obviously. Let's cut your lead. Also throw torps. The one downside of Friesland doesn't have torps. I've always hated that, but you know, it is what it is. Are they going around taking L Island? Oh. They're 100% going around, take a fat island. Fat L island. Yeah, my RPF is there, dude. I need to be ready to bail. I torped him. Two torps. Oh, you can't make that up. You just can't make that up. I double torped the DD that went around taking L Island. I have to go educate this man. Right now. Come, come, young boy. Class is in session. Education must begin. Aim on these shells is a little bit funky. I think we got him. The aim is a little bit funky. They're a little slow, I feel like. Oh my god, dude. Why am I not a destroyer main, dude? Fuck. That's incredible. Um, I think, yeah. I kinda like, I kinda like the pinpoint torps. Such a weird boat. Like, things I shouldn't like in this game, I end up liking. Come on, pull forward. Turn left and pull. Turn left and pull. Do it for Senpai. Fucking please do it. Don't ram him. Don't ram him. Don't ram him. Don't be that guy. We're conducting science experiments over here. AP. I want to see what the AP does. Close range on his superstructure. Looks like it's pinning pretty well. 15 pins, 3 overpins. Pinning remarkably well. 21 pins, 3 overpins, 3 shatters, 4 rigs. Just like exactly what Friesland does. I gun back.
The AP was pinning that really well, the 120 millimeter guns. 2678. Do I recommend it? Yeah, I, I kind of like it actually. It's a unique hybrid, perfect cross between like guns and torps. Like guns aren't too overpowered. Guns are, they, guns feel pretty good. And the torps, they reload about the right amount of time. So all in all, I actually like this ship. I think it's pretty fun. I think it's a nice cross between torps and guns. Uh, and I could actually recommend it as a good tier six premium destroyer. How does it stack up against other destroyers? Well, that's gonna be up to you, uh, your teammates, your skill, their skill, etc. I think it's a good ship. I like it. I enjoy playing it. Here's one solution if you don't want to pay for it. Somebody mentioned this in stream that they're going to actually get a refund on Weimar. And in doing the refund on Weimar, what they're going to do is buy this ship instead. So they're going to get those doubloons back and they're going to buy this ship instead. I don't think this ship's going to tier 7. It's not that overpowered. But in tier 6, it does a pretty good job. As always, if you like this video, let me know in the comment section down below. Will you be buying this ship? Would you want to play it? Let me know down below, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace!